Hey guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday. How are you guys doing? I'm excited to be here with you today. We are going to talk about royal icing transfers. I launched a really fun pizza cookie kit um, on Sunday night. And I did that because I was inspired by these adorable pizza royal icing transfers. Honestly, it was the whole reason these royal icing transfers were just so cute. Had to have them, had to do them, and loved them. So they are from, let's go ahead and start with, they're from American Confections is where I um, got these downloads, and they are free. Um, so just Google American Confections um, royal icing transfers, or you can Google the American Confections um, on Etsy, and that is where I got them, and they were free. And they came with um, the peppers the uh, pepperonis, olives, and the mushroom um, sheets. So go get those, and um, they are going to be in my pizza cookie kits that I'm doing later this week, and I'm super excited about those. So I did actually all of those yesterday for all the cookie kits that I have, and I was like, this would be a great tip for you guys and show you guys exactly how to make these royal icing transfers. So... First, we're going to start off with our icing. So you want to have your icing, go ahead and color whatever color you want it to be for the um, transfers that you're going to make. So if you're going to make green, go ahead with your outline piping consistency, go ahead and make your consistency, um, I'm sorry, you make your icing the correct color that you want it to be. So as you can see here, it's got that little Dairy Queen curl there. This is a great outline consistency, but not a great consistency for your rural icing transfers. If you were to put this icing in a bag and put this on your cookies, it's not going to be great. Or on your um, sheet, it's not going to be great. It's going to be... Um, it's going to be too stiff and you're going to see lines and you don't want to see that. You want it to be a nice, smooth look to it. Okay. So what we're going to do, I've recently become um, a convert to the water bottle spray bottle to thin out my royal icing. So I'm going to go to a few squirts here. I was about four squirts and we're going to mix it up. So what we're looking for is we don't want an, a flood consistency. We don't want outline. We want something right in the middle. So the trick to that is to get a consistency this is going to settle out nicely without running all over the place into each other and to not be stiff. So you want to get something right in the middle. So what I'm looking for, I'm going to move my spatula and I'm going to count. I'm just going to kind of shake it and see, does it come back together? This is almost to the right consistency. Okay, you can kind of part the C's and kind of see, give it a little shake. And you're counting to see how long it takes for your icing to come back together. I'm going to give it two more squirts. Mix it up. Sorry if you hear Mickey Mouse in the background. Um, two more squirts and see. And I think this is just the perfect consistency. So... You're going to see, you plop some in there, give it a little shake. It's going to take about 20 seconds for that icing just to settle back out. So it would not take much for it to settle out and be completely smooth. So once you've got your icing the right consistency, which honestly, let me just tell you, that is the hardest part of making royal icing transfers is getting that right consistency. Once you get that consistency... Oh, so much easier. Just goes downhill from there. It's so much easier. So once you get that consistency, you want to put it in a piping bag. And you want to set up your trays for your, um, you want to set up your trays for your transfers to go. So I like to use just my regular trays, my regular trays that I decorate on. And I take my tape and I'm going to take my scotch tape. And I'm just going to tape it down on all sides. I'm just going to do this so that it doesn't move. Now, with these trays, these are half-sheet trays. These are from webstaurant.com. 
you can um, fit two sheets side by side, and that's what I did since I had a lot of ones to do yesterday. Then I'm gonna take a cellophane bag. Um, let me recommend, you could use wax paper with this as well. Um, I've used parchment paper, but it does not work as well. So I do not recommend using parchment paper. I like these cellophane bags. These are the ones I use to package up my cookies because they have this pull tab here. So it's already got the sticky for me. I don't even need my tape because it's got my sticky for me. So all I'm gonna do is take my um, little tab here, I'm gonna pull, and I'm just gonna line it up here with my sheet and with the um, um, ones I'm gonna do, okay? Now I'm gonna take my other ones because I wanna do the bottom half of the paper here. Take another um, cellophane bag, get these on Amazon, and I'm just gonna line it up here and make sure I get them all on my page. All right, so I've already bagged my icing here. Um, and I'm going to take my um, bag. I've got my paper towel ready to go in case I need it. And I've got my scribe in case I need it. And all I'm going to do is just trace this pepper. Isn't that what it is, a pepper? For my pizzas. And I'm just... I recommend that you just get your favorite um, podcast or video, sit down and just go to town with these. And honestly, I had over 200 to make yesterday and it really didn't take me that long. It flew by. Like I said, once you get that right consistency and you get that, um, color all bagged and your icing all bagged, you are golden and good to go. Honestly, the hardest part. Okay. So look there. So you see how it's just all, I'll show you a close up. So see how it's all flooding out just nicely and it's not, um, you don't want it too thin. If it's too thin, it's got to all run together and it's not going to dry well and you're going to have craters. You want it to be just right. Now that one's kind of scooting into the area, but that one's going to be fine. Um, but you want it just to be smooth and to be easy. Now let's talk about how you take them off. And this has a question, but first you want to put this in front of a fan and let it dry overnight. So you want it to dry for 24 hours. Don't worry. They're not going to get crusty and, and um, brittle, but you do want to be careful with them. They will get hard. And that's what Oreo icing does. It gets hard after it dries. Um, so you can see here how we can like lift up these flaps. So I'm going to show you some that I did yesterday that are dry. I did them 24 hours ago, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to pop them off. So I've got my tray here. And so as you can see, I did like a whole full tray of two sheets yesterday. I went ahead and popped these off here on the bottom, but it makes it so simple. So what I like to do, there's two different methods that you can do to pop these off. You can take your scribe and just kind of use it like kind of like a shovel and go up underneath there like that. And there you go. You've got your little onion. I'm going to put these in the little kits for the kids to decorate, for adults to decorate, whoever wants to decorate these pizzas. Um, and they'll have those. Or, so that's one method. Use your like a little, your scribe and do um, a little like a shovel. But I like to just peel them off. I like to just peel them. And using these cellophane bags, it is so easy. They just come off. Just amazing. So I highly recommend, not only are they clear and easy to see your design through, they come off so easy and make it so simple for you just to bag them up, put them in a little container, do whatever you need to with them and set them aside. Now these transfers will last for a really long time. I just store them in an airtight container and they're going to last for months. Um, so say you need some for Christmas and you want to just make them ahead of time. Fantastic idea. Make them ahead of time, store them up so that when you're ready to go, you've got your cookies to decorate, you've got tons to do, then you can just, um, pull your icing transfers out, 
and pop them on your snow globe or whatever else that you are doing them with. So I'm just going underneath. I like to have one hand underneath and one hand on top. And I am just popping them off. So this one, you're going to have a few casualties. It's still okay. That's why you just got to make a few extras. And you're going to be great. Part of that's because I'm trying to stay out of the camera angle here. But otherwise, it's going to be great. I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, like I said, American Confections is where I got these um, transfer sheets. Um, it's super easy and super fun. You just print them off, copy them. You've got your transfer sheets right here ready to go. And it's fun and easy and a great way, great thing for the kids and a great way people um, are just blown away and just excited about that. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday and I will look forward to seeing you guys next time. See ya.